Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we got a cool show for y'all. We're at Lamar Dixon and it's the South Louisiana Crawfish Balling Contest for Dreams Come True. We're balling crawfish, we got jambalaya, we have cracklings, we have mini pot, we have so many things that you're gonna have to watch and see so y'all hang on cajun living and cooking's fixing to start right about now tight line trout line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine snap beans red beans cornbread and mustard greens that's how we live and it sure feels fine Like the dead long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man Tight line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live, and it sure feels fine We uh, got the top 13 right here, so uh, pick a card, you get a sack. Let's see what you got. Anybody first. Here we go. Uh, it's going to be eight. Eight of spades. We got nine of spades. Let's see. We got, oh, got a three. Three of spades. This is the look at that. Joker. Joker. Didn't know we had the joke. We got the joker in the deck, y'all. Look, they're picking them out. The jerk was over here. That's some good looking crawfish, though. Perfect. Hope we don't get any of them uh, kind that don't take seasoning. Look at there, two. Got a two. Must have fell off of this one. Mm. 345. All right. All right, y'all. We're making it out here. Look like we got the super cool rig over here, bro. Let's get these guys' names and where they're from. Jerry's off the hook catering. Billy, from the, right here in Gonzales. Now, uh, how y'all feeling on y'all's crawfish? Uh, the crawfish is a little shabby. Oh, oh a little shabby. But uh, we're going to make it happen. That's what I like to hear. It's all for the kids. That's right. That's it's all right. for the kids. Okay. That's right. Hey, good luck. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got some more cooks here. Let's get their names and where they from. Cody Nakan, Gonzales. Jesse Nakian Gonzalez. Now, uh, I didn't know you was a good crawfish cook. I know your dad cooks good. I'm a very good cook, actually. No, it's really all him. I'm just, I'm you, just assisting. You the, st I'm the stirrer. stirrer. Yeah, all right. I'm yeah. What's the key to your crawfish? Well, you know, letting her stir it. Huh? That's it. That's it. <laughs> a, a blend, a blend of different that. seasonings. Yeah. You know, I see you got a lot of citrus going. Oh yeah. I like that, bro. I hey. Added at the end. Right. That's how you get right? the citrus bite. That's yes. Right. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, what we got here, y'all? What, what we going? That's going to be a uh, one-pot serving. That's going to be a, uh, a crawfish hash. Crawfish hash. We got the uh, one-bite challenge today, and um, and you balled that in with the crawfish. Yes, I did. Oh, that's a winner right there. And hey, we're going to have some crawfish tails in there, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, good luck to y'all. Oh, thank you very much. All right, y'all got some more cooks right here. Let's get their names and where they're from. Mark Nesbitt, Baton Rouge. Jordan Kleinpeter, Baton Rouge. David Kleinpeter, Prairieville. Now, you always in the top ten, bro. You always right in there. Um, I, um, what do what, what you think is the key to your crawfish? Well, the key to it right now is a lot of heat. Bring the heat. I, 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 we kind of made up our mind that uh, we were going to, might not win, but they were going to know we were here. Ha-ha! Yeah. Red Pepper City? Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. hey, good luck to y'all, fellas. All right, man, thank you. Hey, and thank you for, uh, really, seriously, thank you for all you do for, with this thing. It's a big deal. It man. done got big, bro. Yeah. It's pretty big, yeah. bro, and it's, um, 
plenty to do around here. I hear you. All right, y'all, I got a previous champion right here, but I'm going to let him say his name and where he's from. Grant Meloso, Vashon, Louisiana. It wouldn't be um, the Crawfish Balling Festival without you here, bro. I guess not. <laughs> How you doing so far? We good. I'm good. Doing good so far. I'm soaking right now. Gotcha. I figure you're going to be in the top ten. I know it every time. Every time. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. What's your key to yours, you think? Is it the citrus? Is it the garlic? Is it the... Uh, I don't know. I just got a kick for cooking. Undoubtedly, you're doing good yeah. with it. Hey, good luck, bro. All right. All right, y'all. I got some youngsters out here cooking. Let me get their names and where they're from. Josie Vilar. Zane Vilar. Now, y'all helping cook out here today? Yeah. Y'all are? And are you... I'm doing the one bite challenge. Oh, the one bite? Uh, can you give me a little secret on the one bite? So, I am making a Cajun potato salad. Oh, wow. Now, that sounds good. Really good. So, um, you helping stir the crawfish yeah. and stuff? Yeah. All right. Well, good luck to y'all. All right, y'all. We got some more cooks over here. Let me get his name and where he's from. Uh, Paul G., Prairieville. Now, um, where are you at on yours right now? Uh, yep, an hour and ten minutes in already. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! Are you Almost going? There. You going with the heat or what? Both. I'm going with heat and a lot of, lot, a lot of garlic and lemon. Yeah, yeah. They only get a couple bites of the crawfish, so you got to kick them out. That's what I'm saying. Hey, That's good luck, bro. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Look at here. This, this is our secret ingredient in here. What you got in there? Uh, Italian meatballs, bro. Now, um. I, you've done this before with the meatballs. And every time we keep on getting requested, so we had to move from one bag of meatballs to about five. <laughs> everybody wants the meatballs everyone now. Everyone wants the meatballs. It's a good filler, and not everyone likes crawfish, but when you sit there and put that, get you a couple of hot dog buns or uh, some French bread, yeah, yeah. line it out with some, uh, some good marinara, some provolone. Cut. I'm in. Oh, my goodness. If you put it on top of your head, your tongue beat your brains out trying to get to it. Damn it, bro. Go hey, ahead, go ahead. Nope. Good luck, bro. All right, y'all. Got some more cooks here. Let's get the names and where they're from. Donald Plummer, Prairieville. Bailey Plummer, Prairieville. Alisich. Aldrich, Prairieville. Ray Alisich, Beerus, Louisiana. Yeah. Right. How y'all looking, bro? Uh, looking pretty good. Just uh, trying a little something different here and see if we can make it the second round. As usual. <laughs> As usual. Uh, you been helping out? Yes, yeah, sir. You been helping out? Yes. All right. Well, good luck to y'all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, y'all. Got some more crawfish cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. I'm Gary Denham Springs. Ashley Denham. Fabian Denham. Vicky Denham Springs. This ought to be your year, huh? I hope so. You've been in it almost every year, I believe. I've been in it for a few times. Did you do something different? Uh, I always do something different. Gotcha. Now, um, you got good help, I see. You got good help. So, um, where are you at now? You just letting them soak? Letting them soak. We're going hey. to test them every 10, 15 minutes, and when they're ready, we're going to pull them up. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thanks, bro. All right, y'all. Got some crawfish cooks over here. Let's get the names and where they're from. Jared Monso, Prairieville. Mike Frugge, Prairieville. Taft Klein, Peter Prairieville. Y'all, these dudes rock bro. they always in the cook off they always doing good stuff they always doing stuff for the community and um, what have y'all done a little different to y'all's crawfish this year maybe I don't know I think we argued for the first two and a half hours and then we finally came up with an idea that we go ahead and throw weeks, together actually. yeah we've been arguing two for two weeks, two weeks. wow These are brains behind the operation and I'm the muscle well, you gotta have all that see? Yeah, yeah. loving the shirts y'all hey good luck to y'all yeah, yes, thank y'all very much thank appreciate it cheers all right, y'all, I got a group right here that comes out every year and does something really nice for the kids. They have three jambalaya and a crawfish, and we're going to get their names and where they're from. Justin Bro, Gonzales, Louisiana. Brad Landash from Dutchtown. Danny Guitro from Gonzales. Zach Kennedy from Walker. Kendrick Silvis from Baton Rouge. That's a good uh, crowd you got there, a little bit everywhere. Got a little mix. I, I look forward to y'all coming out here every year and coming and uh, being a part of this. Um, what what makes y'all do that? I mean, what? Well, we, we get the opportunity from the plant. They they give us opportunity to come out and uh, something that we enjoy doing. It's a good good environment and for a good cause. That's mainly what it is. That's the best thing. It's all for the kids, y'all. Hey, good luck, man. Good luck Thank to y'all. Look at here. Look at here. We got some crackling cooks. 
Let me get your name and where you're from. Stump Marshawn. It's my nephew. Mike Malugin. Man, y'all got him out and looking good, bro. That looks good. We, we, hey, all we're doing is trying. Now, we, are you done? Are you popping? No, are you? no, they, they cooling now. We just, we just finished rendering them. Uh huh. They cooling, and somewhere around 11 o'clock, we'll start popping them. Gotcha, gotcha. How's the back? Where y'all got? It look good. It look so far, I'm, I'm tickle pink. We, we like that blister, right? Right. That's a little bit. Want. That's when you. That's what. That's what I think. And look, I'm still new at this, so. Right, right. But um, I'd eat them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ask Jimmy and Snook. <laughs> all right. If if I did all right, <laughs> and whatever they say. I'm good with it. There we go. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, y'all. We got some cooks right here. Let's get their names and where they from. Jimmy Bursa J from Gonzalez. Snook Tabo Sorrento. Now, y'all cooked cracklings before. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. That's good stuff, bro. They was talking over there. They said they want to come see what you're doing before they're doing. They want sneaking around over here. Oh, yeah. They got to come look. <laughs> How y'all doing? We're doing good. Fixing to take them out a little bit. Oh, y'all fixing the pull? Boy, that's some blistering up in there. Yeah, they're gonna blister yes. more than that. Whole... Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank All right, you. Man. All right, man. All right, what we got here, y'all? What we what we going? That's gonna be a uh, one pot serving. That's gonna be a, a crawfish hash. Crawfish hash. We got the uh, one bite challenge today, and um, and you balled that in with the crawfish. Yes, I did. Yeah, I right there. And we're gonna have some crawfish tails in there too. Oh yeah. Hey, good luck to y'all. Oh, thank you very much. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies' night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Crawfish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high-performance cookers and super boilers. With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under 7 minutes and the return boil in under 2 minutes. This fast return bowl is key to perfectly cooked crawfish, all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. We got some of the judges in here on the crawfish. Let's get her name and where she's from. Hello, Ashley Frugge from... New Orleans, WBRZ Baton Rouge. Channel Added two. the New Orleans in there because that's where I'm originally from. Exactly. You weren't very specific on that. Well, I, I, I figured you would have rolled that out there, wouldn't you? Of course, of course. How you doing? Have you tasted one? You no, haven't even haven't got, that's the first you, one. You, I'm, I done messed you up. You I'm going to let you. You interrupted me. You, while you I'm keep to going. <laughs> I'm going to talk to your buddy over here. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. And now, if y'all don't know who this is, he will tell you about the weather. The weather. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> you do have some cool things on the side. We can, do, we can talk about weather. We can talk about dogs. Today we can talk about crawfish. Yes. Have you tried one? Second one. Second one. Mm -hmm. So you got to go around and taste all these. Yeah. Man, you got a tough job. The palate, the palate uh, it starts to blend after a while. That's why you got to have a sip of beer in between each one. Right? Uh, and, and you're thinking, Rodney, get away from me now, where I can eat. Only, only in Louisiana do you judge a food competition with a beer in between each. You yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. I, I'm going to let y'all keep going. Keep right. up the good work. Thanks, Rodney. These are pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, in, oh. I'm enjoying this one so uh -oh. far. This, is, uh, this one has... We, it's a little, we, we won't tell them, we, we won't, won't tell them, say. it'll be a we secret. Won't say. I didn't do one of these. But I think. Is it a heat or number, a flavor? My number one thing that I like to, visually it has to look clean. Right. I want it to look clean. Right. So that's for me. So these pass that test. So Then I like a spice factor. You know, juiciness. 
that people don't know about mm -hmm. the cleanliness is uh, clear water balling. Okay. You, you, you ball your seasoning and you set it on the side. You take another pot and ball your crawfish in clear water. And then when they're ready to soak, you set them in the other water. Uh -huh. That's the key. That's All right. Y'all keep it up. Make my notes. Good there we go. You, ah, you All right, Larry, you got a good uh, crowd in here judging we this. We got as many judges as we have cooked, but that's very important, Rod. And, you know, we want to make sure we got a great consensus on the winners, right? For, so right now, what we're doing, we got four divisions, division one, two, three, four. Yeah. Each division is going to have three of them in the top. They're going to make it to the finals. So 12 is going to make it to the finals, which, was, you know, we're going to rejudge and uh, recook. Ball another sack, everybody. And at 5 o'clock, we're going to announce the winners one score, to, score card at a time. Awesome, awesome. We're hey, ready. you got some good uh, judges in here, and uh, keep up the good work, Larry. Well, because, thank you very uh, much. Yeah, we got a great uh, mix of judges. We got some – we don't want experts, okay? No. We want celebrities. Yesterday afternoon, Ashton Fruzzi uh -huh. said, I'm going to be in Gonzales at Lamar Dixon tasting crawfish. Ashley is a crawfish lover, so there we go. There we go. There it is right there, y'all. All right, y'all. got some more judges. Let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, Roland Doucette, right here in Ascension Parish. Clay Shakes Nada, Ascension Parish. Dale Erty, Livingston Parish. Dennis O'Quinn, East Feliciana. Man, y'all got a hard job out here, Roland. Well, I tell you, you get corralled into this, Rodney, I, this is a blessing. <laughs> you eat some of the best crawfish that's uh, done anywhere around. Have you tasted a bad crawfish yet? Not yet. So it, I may have to sample four or five more times before I make my my judgment on any of them. So. Yeah, and you see other things in there. You see celery, a little bit of corn, a little bit of other things sitting around in there. You see, you see all the good things that Louisianans love to eat, right? Yes. Crawfish, corn, potatoes, onions, mushrooms. It's all good. Life's good, y'all, and it's all for the kids. It's all for the kids. Y'all keep up the good work. Thank you, Roger. All right, y'all, I got some of the guys from the car show out here. And uh, let's get your name, where you're from. Kenneth Burke, Gonzales, Louisiana. Which car you have or truck? I got 55 orange Chevrolet truck. I love that truck. I'm a Chevy guy. You are? I am you a Chevy are, guy. Wonderful, man. That's I, wonderful. We all are. I, I'd like to think so. Got a couple of Ford guys in here, though. <laughs> we let them come in. Yeah. <laughs> what we got over here? We got old Mr. Ronnie Lambert. What's up, my friend? How's it going? Fine. Tell them what car you have. Uh, I have a 1986 Buick Grand National. How long have you been having it? Uh, about a year. Gotcha, gotcha. You love the car shows to come and see the other cars, I bet. Correct, correct. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, I ain't going to mess you up from eating these crawfish. Yeah, Keep going. You, you meet a, a lot of nice people over here at car shows. I mean, like, a lot of nice people. Cool, cool. Hey, y'all yeah. have a good time today. All right. Thank you, man. Uh, All right. All right, y'all, I got another car guru right here. Let's get That's both of these. Car guru. car guru. That's right. Let's get their names and where they're from. Scott Gray right here in Gonzales. Brad, Brad James, Gonzales. What car you have? I got the Buick GS right here and the Oldsmobile 442. Ah, and yours? 67 Camaro. All right. What What's your favorite part about coming to a car show? Looking at all the cars, for sure. Seeing everybody else's. Getting ideas, you know, what we can do with the cars. Yep. And you? Enjoy looking at the cars and bringing the granddaughter out here. Yes, indeed. Hey, y'all have a good time today, y'all. Food. And the food. I seen them crawfish you was wearing out over here. <laughs> all right, y'all, I got the Jambalaya champion right here. I'm going to let it say his name and where he's from. Cade Lanou from Santa Mo. Now, you are the reigning Jambalaya champion right now yes, of sir. the Jambalaya Festival. Yes, sir. And it's the second time. What, yes. What, 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 how did you learn to cook Jambalaya that good? I mean, where'd you uh, learn I mean, that? Consistency is, uh, is, is really what you, what you strive to get, you know, if you can figure out uh, a good product and then just do it every time. Well, bro, so, you got it. Whatever it is you're doing, yep. you got it, man. Hey, I want to say thanks again, bro. Right. Thanks Appreciate for coming out there, and it's all for the kids. Oh, yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got the champion right here, bro. That's a pretty big trophy you got, bro. Yeah, Gary was worried that it was bigger than him, but he's got about a few inches. Well, COVID <laughs> used to be a little taller, but COVID made it a little shorter. He told me if we won, he was going to pick it up over his head, and he tried. Now, what you think was the key to your crawfish? Uh, preparation, 
keeping your head in the game, learn, not getting distracted from the first by. Yeah. Learn it from the first round. Yeah. We learned a lot from the first round. Awesome, y'all. It's really cool. Y'all come out here and do this. Finally won the championship, and it's all for the kids. Hey, bro. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark located at the Port Vincent Bridge is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, Jesse Miller from Gramercy. Dobby Malone's on reserve. All right, they got 30 each. Let's see how it goes. We're going to start on three. One, two, three. All right, we got a good roll going. Jesse got it going. Darby so has won this before. We're going to see uh, who got the most. These dudes can eat. This is flat out eating right here. Here we go. Yeah, this is some pros. These boys have been practicing at home, I got to say. They might have practiced before they got here, as a matter of fact. They are getting on down with it. Getting in. Look at this. Oh, we got a little stubble there by Darth. He's going. Got to kick it back a little bit on the head. Keeping it going. Oh, there he goes, Jesse. Jesse's going. He's got, they just about neck and neck down to the end, though. No, we're getting down to the end. We're getting down to the end. Coming down. Look at that. The crowd's getting a little crowdy, too. Here we go. Getting down to the end. Down to two or three. Oh, Darby's catching up. Looks like Darby's got a little lead by about a crawfish. We're going to check it. He's going for the bell. Let's see. Oh, what you got? Let's see if he got anything. Got all the meat out of that one. That one. Looks like he's got the meat. Ah, we, got, we got a little bit going right here. And that's all he's got. You got any? You got a couple? All right. We're going to go on three. One. Two, three. Darby's got to finish this one piece, and that's it. We got a winner right here. Hey, now, now that you've won twice, mm. once? Oh, you came close the last second, time. Second place, last time. Who would you like to say taught you how to eat good crawfish like that? Myself. Just practice. <laughs> Myself. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, bro. sir. Yep. All right, y'all, this is the action back here. We done made it to the action. This is where they're scooping. All the crawfish are scooping. You been scooping? No, I just quit for a minute. You was getting a lot piled up out there, yeah. filling them up. I'm going too fast. I hear you. Well, that's a good work. Look over here. This is the other side. This is where the jambalaya is getting scooped up over here. Man, y'all get to try some yet? No, sir. Not yet. Not you man, one of them sausages, flip it in your mouth real quick and tear it up. <laughs> Here it is, y'all. This is the plating. All the good stuff going on out here. Y'all uh, going through a few? A couple of them, for sure. Fast <laughs> as we can. 
Bo, y'all been uh, doing double duty, sending the water, doing the jambalaya, got the crawfish. What, what is there anything you won't do, Bo? No, it's not. Nothing. We do anything we can do to help the people. And that's what it's all about, y'all. And it's all about the kids. And that's why everybody's here for free. It's working for free. So that's what it's about, y'all. All right, y'all. I found one of the booths over here. And y'all ain't going to believe it. It's my dad and my nanny right here. And I'm going to let them say their name and where they're from. Hey, I'm Lynette Ernest. And we're from Marpaw, Louisiana. I'm a son, her brother. And my name is Rodney Dupree Sr., and I'm from Bear Island, Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, man, you've been doing this a while, and y'all got some really, really cool stuff. But let's tell everybody out there, if they want to get some of this, how can they get it? Well, we're on Facebook as Louisiana Bayou Art, and we, we post stuff periodically. We don't have a timeline or anything, but that's you can message me, and I will meet you or I'll take a custom order or whatever you want. Like, we have a lot of egrets and um, swamp scenes. And how about the phone number? The phone number is 985-320-9922. That's my number. I'm the contact person because Rodney likes to go in the swamp mostly, so, you know, to get the things. So, but anyway, contact me, Lynette Ernest, and I will get you a piece. Hey, I will paint you something special if you want. Well, we gotta, if she's doing all that, we got to go in the swamp then. That's right. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to go ahead. That's where the wood comes from. Yeah, that's right. We're going to we're gonna have to make a little tour. <laughs> and, um, you can stop and fish while you're out there, too. You know, yeah. all the good stuff. When he sees something, he picks it up. He brings me stuff from all over. Like, he just was telling me on the way up here. He said, oh, we found a really neat piece of, of driftwood. His, your brother found. And he picked it up. He said, DeMoss found a nice piece. I said, that's going right. to that's gonna be some art. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go back to the work, and um, I'll see y'all after a while. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. I made it over here to the burger booth. What's up? Let me get their names and where they're from. Dean, Livingston Parish. Kenny, Livingston Parish. Y'all got y'all work cut out for y'all today. Yes, sir. And it sure smells good in here, bro. Good too. It looks good. I'm going to have to come get one of them burgers. Woo-wee. Look over here, y'all. We got... Um, this is our Uncle Larry section way over here. Look at Uncle Larry. I'm just over here with the guys doing all the serving over here. Let's see what they got. Enjoy. What Enjoy. you got in that bowl? What you got in there? Crawfish stew. That's Uncle Larry, man. Uncle Larry crawfish stew. Yes, it is. Son yes. of a gun. You look like you've been having a lot of people standing yeah, out here. Pretty, pretty people coming by the crawfish stew and he's sampling this gumbo base. All yeah. right, all right. Yeah. Y'all keep up the good going work. Good, and, uh, going good, going good. All right, y'all. This was one fun day out here at the Crawfish Festival. And I'm going to tell you, there's no way we could have even put this on film on what all's going out here. Y'all got to come next year. It's always usually the weekend after Easter. Y'all come out here. It's always for the kids. Uh, we got new crawfish champion. We got new jambalaya champion. And it's still going on now. I'm going to tell y'all. You got to make it next year. And I want to tell everybody else, thank you for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.